Hi, I'm Belinda Carley, the Director of the Institute of Personal Care Science, and I get asked a lot of little questions about exfoliants and what can be used to replace microbeads. Well, there are some very obvious choices with hydrogenated jojoba esters and similar little very round spherical beads. But what if you wanna be a bit creative and use some plants or shells or seeds, loofers, what's out there, how much do you use, and how do you know which types of exfoliants suit the body or the face? Well, in this particular video, I'm gonna introduce you to a range of materials. This is from Lasonia. Now, the reason I'm introducing you to this particular range is they have a huge amount of materials you can pick from, and they also code their materials very easily with a particle size so that you can easily see when a material should be used for the face or the body and also what sort of abrasiveness it might have. So first of all, let's talk about size of particles and which are best to use for the face or the body. You will typically see uh, a description about an exfoliant material come to you as either a micron diameter measurement or a mesh size. Now a micron diameter measurement is pretty obvious. It gives you the diameter of the substance. So the larger the number, the larger the size of the particle. And I'm gonna show you heaps of examples in a minute so that you're gonna get some idea of what sort of size we're talking about. But when it comes to mesh size, it can sometimes be a little confusing. You'll typically see it written as 28 slash 60 or some other numbers. So what does this mean? When you see mesh size, it gives you a measurement based on how many openings there'd be per square inch. So where you have a mesh size of 28, it means there's 28 openings per square inch. Where there's a mesh size of 60, it means that there's 60 openings per square inch. The larger the mesh size, the smaller the openings, and that means the smaller the diameter of the particle size. You'll see two numbers written, because this two number system means that 90% of the particles will fit through the smaller number, while 90% will be retained by the larger number. So this gives you a really good indication of the majority of the particle size so now that we've talked about size, let's talk about the typical sizes you'd use on the face or the body. So typically, if you're gonna be formulating a product for the face, you would stick to using materials around 150 to 200 micron, or around 60, 100 mesh size. For the body, you need a larger particle size to get an effective abrasion. So you use materials that are up to around 500 micron, and sometimes a little larger, up to 700 microns absolute maximum. This would be around a mesh size of 40, 60. And for the feet, you can be even scrubbier again. You would typically use particles that are over 600 microns, or a mesh size of 28, 60. Now in your different products, you also wanna think about the percentage of exfoliant that you're gonna use. So typically when you're making an exfoliant product, you'd use between one to 5% of exfoliant material, depending on how scrubby you want the product to feel. Now part of this is going to depend on the abrasiveness of the material. So if it's a really abrasive material, you really only wanna use about one to 3% in your formula. If you've got a softer feeling material that's less abrasive, you'd usually want to use a little bit more, three to five percent, to get a good scrubby effect on the skin. Now another thing to remember is when you're using your exfoliants, you need to stabilize the formula well. You don't want these exfoliant particles to either rise to the top of the formula or sink to the bottom over time. So using suitable polymeric materials or rheology modifiers will help stabilize the exfoliants in the product over the shelf life. The more exfoliant you use, the more stabilizing material you'll need to keep the product homogenous over an extended shelf life. So just remember to include suitable stabilizing materials as well in your formula to keep those particles suspended homogeneously throughout the shelf life. So now that we've talked about size and we've talked about imports and we've even talked about abrasiveness, 
Let's take a look at some of the exciting materials you can use in your exfoliant products. Now we've got heaps here, so I just wanna show you a few of these, and there's an even bigger range if you contact Lasonia. This one here, for example, is Almond Shell, and this is a 500 micron size. So this would be really good to use in a body product. Now, just to give you an example of size, I've got some apricot here, and this is also from the, the shell of the apricot. This here is a thousand microns in diameter, so you can see it's quite large. And this would really wanna be using on the feet because it's so large. I've also got some apricot here, again, also from the shell, and this is a 500 micron size. You can see it's much, much finer, and this would be a product we would use for the body. There's also argan, coconut, olive, shea, and walnut, just to name a few. So that's their shells range. I've got a couple of other materials that I wanna show you here. The first is bamboo. Now this is 100 microns, so this would be ideal in a face product. Now of course you can mix and match materials, uh, and that way you can also alter the abrasiveness and appearance, because for example, the bamboo here is very white, but we could mix this with a brown shell exfoliant. It makes a really interesting uh, visual appeal in a product. Also, if I didn't want to see this, I could use this in uh, an emulsion, of course, being white, you're not really going to see it. So it depends on the visual effect you want as well. Here is some rice, and this is a 500 micron size. So again, you can see very, very fine abrasiveness there, but that would be ideal for the body. Next, I've got some materials from their mineral range. Now these, just holding them, are very heavy. So you'd need extra particle suspension if you were to use the mineral materials. As an example, I've got Corindon, and this is in a 500 micron size. And you can see it's got a little bit of a sparkle to it. This is from their minerals range. They've also got quartz. Uh, I've also got some garnet here. It's a fantastic story you could add to the product. Uh, and perceived value of the product. This is a 300 micron size here, so you could use a little of that in the face products. Here I've got some lithothamnion as well. They also have pearl available. It's a really good way to add some perceived value to your product story. Just remember if you use something from their minerals range, they are very heavy, so extra particle suspension is required. Next are some really cool fruit materials. Here is cranberry. Now this is 2000 microns, so definitely a foot scrub, but look at that gorgeous color. And that is from the cranberry fruit itself. There's also kiwi, these are kiwi seeds. Just remember there's more in their range than what I'm showing you here today. This is why I wanted to bring their products to you because this is a huge range of materials to pick from. This is raspberry seeds, they're a thousand microns and strawberry seeds, again, a thousand microns, ideal for body and feet products as well. Then we've got some loofah materials. Now, one of the great things about loofah, these are 30 microns diameter. Um, they're very soft, very, very soft. So in terms of abrasiveness, they're not a really hard scrub. Um, so these are great in face products. Um, but what's great about these materials is look at the beautiful colors that you can get in this range. So you can add these into your products for some excellent visual appeal. While we're talking about visual appeal, they've also got some other herbs and, and teas and spices. Here is corn flour. And again, this is a real visual appeal, not so much for its um, scrubby or abrasiveness, but you could mix. You could put some bamboo in with this. You're gonna see the corn flour in an emulsion. You will see this easily. You won't see the bamboo, for example, but it would still have a really good abrasiveness, but the visual appeal from the corn flour would be fantastic. They have ginger, green tea, they've got lavender, jasmine, uh, hemp. They've even got hemp available, which is another fantastic addition to your product story. Lemongrass and also rosemary. So there's an absolutely huge range of materials for abrasive properties. Finally, in their range, I just wanted to introduce you to these. They've got micro zest powders. Now these are very fine. You can use them as colorants in clay products or even for other color appeal. You can see the colors 
there. Now these aren't abrasive so much as uh, used for the color that they add and they're very fine micro zest range. They've got a micro zest 25 range. These also provide a soft focus effect in a finished product to uh, diminish the appearance of wrinkles just from application, the way they diffuse light uh, in a finished product. So there you go, there's absolutely heaps of choice. Now they're not the only suppliers that provide uh, exfoliant materials that aren't micro beads, but I just absolutely loved this range. I was looking for an exfoliant for a project and then I happened across this range and I thought, wow, that's just so amazing. We've got seeds, we've got flowers, we've got herbs, we've got, uh, we've got minerals, and then we even have some very colorful clay-like materials and soft focus effects. So remember when you're picking exfoliants for your projects, you can pick them for visual appeal. One of the main selections would be their size and how abrasive they are and what part of the body you want to use them on. Remember to check the size of the particle, which would be given to you in either microns or mesh size. And remember how to calculate out from that mesh size the relative micron or body part that the product would be especially suited to. Remember the inputs will vary depending on the part of the body where you want to apply the product and how abrasive the material is. And of course you can mix and match a few different materials to get the skin feel and abrasiveness just right and also tell a fantastic product story. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Please leave any questions or comments below and make sure you subscribe to receive notifications about all our videos. Happy formulating.